Hello, hello, it's cooking lesson time, and you know what that means. It's cooking lesson time, that's what it means. <laughs> and today what I have for you is some fish. I wanna cook fish because there's always, I always get a bunch of questions about fish, and especially because in our recipes, we call for firm white fish, fresh or frozen. We do this for various reasons, because of availability, and we know we have people all over the world who are subscribers to our dinner answers. And so they're always asking, well, I can't find that fish, or what should I do if it's not fresh, and what should I do? So what we have done is every fish recipe we've developed, we have developed for generic white firm fish, whatever you can get. And whether it's frozen or fresh, these recipes work. And what I'm gonna show you today is a lemon butter caper sauce, and it's absolutely delicious and so wonderful with this mahi-mahi. Now, mahi-mahi is a dolphin fish, which has nothing to do with dolphins, which are mammals. This is a dolphin fish. It's just kind of dolphinish looking. If you've ever seen them, they have like these great big high heads. They're kind of weird looking, but they're very delicious, I must say, very delicious, nice and firm uh, flesh, and um, extraordinarily good for you. You should be eating fish at least once or twice a week, preferably. And what I would say, would be to eat a white fish or some shrimp or whatever once a week and salmon the other day of the week so that you're getting plenty of omega-3 fatty acids in. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my um, skillet nice and hot. And the butter, I'm gonna use butter as opposed to ghee. And you know, butter will brown, which is fine because a browned butter sauce is lovely on fish. So that's the one, another thing to know about. Um, these are capers. Capers, believe it or not, are little berries from a bush that have been pickled. That's what they are, and they're delicious, and they're very salty. Wonderful little things. That's what the spoon was for, so I can get the capers out. <laughs> I will be adding a splash of cream. I find that it really helps with the lemon juice, because the lemon juice can be a little bit tart and kind of make your eyeballs pop out of your head, and the cream will just tone it down a bit. However, if you're still sprinting, don't do the cream. Just do it the way I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm also gonna be adding vermouth. Um, you could add white wine or even a splash, a tiny splash of vinegar. Again, what we're adding is dimension into the sauce. And one of my favorite things, one of my favorite little tools is better than bouillon. Better than bouillon adds a lot of flavor and gives that your sauce a little bit of depth. And I find adding just a little bit of that to the sauce just really makes it a restaurant quality sauce. Um, and then we have, of course, fresh lemon juice. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? It doesn't matter, it's no. yellow juice. <laughs> um, and you know, I will just say, fresh lemons make all the difference. Fresh lemons are everything. They have a really unique flavor. Way better than the those little plastic squeezy things, you know, which they add a bunch of stuff. I'm going to, of course, salt and pepper and a little bit of thyme and my friend the bone broth, of course, is here. So we have all of that, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, um, I've had some people asking me about our Body Clutter Wise Women supplements. I've brought them down to show you, and when the fish is cooking, I might give you a little, you know, kind of a something going on. But anyway, so this pan is getting nice and hot, so we're gonna let that happen. And to my little fish, and I'll move this so you can see it, I am going to go ahead and salt the fish and put a little pepper on it. That's about right. And then I need butter for my pan. Now again, when you're cooking, I always say to cook with ghee because ghee doesn't burn, but I want a browned butter. Okay? So that's part of it. I had it on high. I've just turned the pan down to medium. And you're gonna see this stuff sizzle like nobody's business. Okay, not, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, here it comes. Yes. And you can smell, this the smell of butter browning is just lovely. And now you're gonna take your salt and peppered fish and you're gonna turn, that side that you salt and peppered is the side that goes down. Okay. And now you're going to salt and pepper again on either side. And just so you know, I'm not using very much salt. 
but that just that tiny bit of salt is going to make the fish taste delicious. The one time, I, I don't know if you've ever noticed this when you're cooking, but you, you're thinking about, you're eating it, you can't figure out, everything seems like it's right, but there's something missing. I guarantee you it's salt. And if you, there's, there's such thing as way, as, as way over salting, of course, and then there's such thing as under salting. And you can't go back and fix it. You have to salt as you go. Pepper. Always fresh ground and always a good mineral-based salt. This is, this is a pink Himalayan salt. You can use uh, real salt from Utah. You can use whatever you want, really. But the point is, it's getting away from, you know, the iodized salt that's really common in the stores. This is better stuff. The capers are going to be adding a nice touch. Let's get that ready. Get my little better than Does it bouillon matter? ready. Does it matter what kind of bouillon that is? Um, you can use, we have, this one is a, uh, is the roasted garlic base. We also have used the chicken one before. Um, Costco carries it. Trader Joe's carries it. I've seen it everywhere. It's gotten pretty popular. Walmart. Walmart? Oh, yeah. Wow. Walmart, you're on the game. Okay. So one of the things that I like to do, you know, what oftentimes in my single lady days, what I used to do, is, especially on webinar nights, because I used to do a ton of webinars and guest webinars, joint webinars with um, a lot of different experts. When I used to do all of those, it was like I'd have my whole day working, and then it was webinar time, you know, getting ready for webinar time, and I'd do a double skillet meal. Typically something like this along the lines of this, fish, and then I'd do a sauteed spinach or a sauteed baby kale or something, and it's just double skillet, and you've got dinner in five minutes. It's crazy. So it's already ready to turn. You can see it. If you can see this, it's nicely brown. Isn't that beautiful? Again, yeah, that's mahi. Oh. Yeah, that is the mahi. And there are people on this planet who actually believe that um, fish is terrible stuff. And I have to disagree. It's just they haven't cooked it well. And you don't want to overcook it. You also don't want to undercook it. So you want to do it a couple of minutes on each side. Now I've got this at about a medium high heat because I'm cognizant of the fact that I have that brown butter in the pan. And I'm not done adding butter, by the way. Aren't you so glad? <laughs> but this is almost done. And I'm just gonna take a look and I'm gonna show you how to do this if you wanna take a peek. You can see the fish is starting to separate a little bit. And I'm just gonna take a little peek. And yes, I can see that it's a little raw in the middle. So I'm just gonna give it another minute. And uh, while the fish is cooking, I'll tell you a little bit about our Body Clutter Women's Tea. This is the best tea you'll ever have. <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody loves this tea. If you love Earl Grey tea, you're gonna love this. This has an oil of bergamot in it and also organic and black tea. This is the tea that Marla and I Green and custom. That's what I said. What did I say? I don't know. I, just... I said green and black organic tea. Okay. Goodness. Okay, so as I was saying, green and black organic tea with oil of bergamot in it. And it is like Earl Grey tea on steroids. It is fresh and it's wonderful. And if you enjoy a nice cup of tea, this is what we have every day at Marla's Tea Time. We formulated that together. It was, we're very proud of that. We also did these ones. We did four supplements. We have CoQ10, B complex, that's a methylated B, a vitamin D, um, it's in a dry form, so it's very uh, shelf stable, a CoQ10 for your heart, and uh, be complex, and a, and a mag, cow mag, which has a one-to-one -one ratio. All the information you can find on savingdinner.com forward slash wise. And I'll tell you exactly why it's been formulated the way it is. This is the stuff we formulated this ourselves. Nobody else has this. We're calling them the core four because most of us are deficient in some form or another. And if you order $100 worth of supplements, I will for five bucks, I'll send you this little mindful mug. If you order $200, I will send it to you free. That's what I will do. 
And that fish is pretty much ready. Not, I mean, it's not quite done. I wouldn't eat it right now. But what we're going to do is go ahead and make a pan sauce. And we start with, remember I told you I use bone broth for everything? This is what I start. This is the first round of deglazing. Oh, that's so much fun. There you go. To that, I'm going to add a splash of vermouth. Like I said, you could do white wine. You could even do a vinegar if you wanted to. I really like vermouth though. It gives it a nice, uh, it's a nice flavor. Then we're going to add the lemon juice. All the liquids, pretty much all the liquids. And give it another mix. And you can see that browned butter. It's kind of browned. We're not quite done there. Now, a purist is gonna go through here and pull out all the little bits and pieces. And for me, that just adds more fun to the, to the whole thing. At this point, I'm gonna add, I would say probably, hold on, this is too much. There it is. Probably about a half teaspoon of that better than bouillon. Like I said, this stuff is really good. It always, anytime I've ever had a sauce that I'm just like, ah, eh, something's missing, and I add a little bit of this, it's great. It has just a little bit of salt to it and just adds that body and the depth that you're looking for. And then, my friends, I'm going to take probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. And again, remember, thyme is an herb. And herbs are always made from plants. And when you rub them like this, never buy stuff that's already, you know, whirred together and ground. Buy it in as whole form as you can, and then just do what I did. When you do that, you're releasing all that wonderful um, essential oil that's in there. Okay, now we're gonna put just a little bit of cream in there. That's probably a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful sauce. Isn't that gorgeous? It, it's a browned butter sauce. To that, we're gonna turn the heat back up, let it come, and add probably a tablespoon of butter. We are not afraid of fat at saving dinner. And that goes over here. Do you see how I'm unloading what I have here over to there? This is this is how I I D I D knees and plus. Everything keeps going this way because it's going to get put away. And right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. The sauce is delicious. Off the charts. I didn't add my, I put these away and I didn't add them. What the heck? Okay, so these capers, I'm going to do a teaspoon, well, I'm going to do a teaspoon from my silverware drawer and see where I am. I'm also going to turn this off. Get the brine off. Yeah, that's enough. You don't want too many because then it's just like, it's like a caper fest. We don't need that. Now to this, I've got my fish, which you know it has some juice. Add it right back in. Turn that heat up for just half a second and I'll let you take a shot at this in just a minute. I just want to get that sauce back and spooned on over my fish so you can see this because it is a beautiful sight to be found. And this is, you know, I mean, you could go to a French restaurant and they'll, they'll serve you sole, Dover sole like this with the same type of a sauce. This is exactly how they make it. This is how I learned how to make it, it was from a French chef. And that, my friends, is a fabulous meal for two. That's what we're having for dinner tonight, this incredible fish, and probably with the arugula salad, because I, I want to eat that up. And it's a nice, light dinner. We're gonna have an early dinner. And um, it's something you will really enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed that today. So cooking doesn't have to be hard. You just need to pull out a few ingredients 
and make some, some amazingly creative sauces. And you'll be really proud of yourself too when you do this. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you tomorrow for Soulful Saturday at 1 p.m. See you later. Bye.